for this lesson, we'll be talking about exponential notation. What is exponential notation? Well, it's, it's a way to write numbers using exponents. And you may already know that an exponent is, it's that little number that goes above and to the right of another number. And what this number says is 4 squared, which means that you take the 4 and multiply it by itself twice. Or you multiply it by itself once, but there's going to be 4 times 4, so you have two 4s. Now, the parts of this notation, so the parts of 4 squared, the 4 is what we call the base. The base. And then the 2, well, that's what we call the exponent. The exponent. Okay, and the base is, is um, what we call the factor. And, <clears throat> and the whole thing we could also call a power where all the factors are the same. So the factors would be 4, and you'd have two of them. So you have two 4s, 4 times 4. Okay, so the, what the exponent tells you to do is multiply the base that many times. So for any number a, if you have an exponent b, the a is going to be multiplied itself, multiplied by itself however many times b is. So if b is a 5, you'd have a times a times a times a times a five times. Now another example could be, let's say we have a 2 as the base and then a 3 as the exponent. So all that means is you take the 2 and you multiply the 2 three times. So you have 2 times 2 times 2. So you have three 2's. And 2 times 2 is going to give you 4. And then you multiply that by 2, which will give you 8. So 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2, and 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So 2 to the third power is the same thing as 8. Okay, what would 3 to the fifth be? Well, you would have 3 times 3, and you'll have 5 of these. So there's 4, and there's 5. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is the same thing as 3 to the 5th power. And then if I asked you what is the base of this, well, the base would be the 3. That's the base. And then the exponent would be the 5. Exponent. Okay, so you have the base and the exponent, and that's really all there is to it. Um, in algebra, we use variables sometimes. So if you had a number n raised to the fifth power, that is the same thing as n times n times n times n times n, five times. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 n's. Now sometimes they'll give you a, a value um, to eva they'll, they'll give you an expression to evaluate. And let me change the color to make this a little more visual visually appealing. We'll do uh, x to the third power. And I say evaluate that, evaluate for x equals 3. So evaluate x to the third power for x equals 3. 
So what we're going to do is sub substitute 3 in for x. So it'll become 3 to the third power. And then the exponent 3 tells us to multiply the base 3 times itself. And we'll have three threes here. So 3 times 3 times 3. And that'll give us our answer. So 3 times 3 is 9. And then we take that 9 and multiply it by 3, which is 27. OK, so x to the third and evaluate for x equals 3 is going to give us 27. And that'll be your answer.